Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're heading to the Lego store to pick up some free Lego. That's right, it's pretty awesome. And you know what? It's an amazing day to head to the Lego store because it's April 26, 2021 and there's a bunch of new products that are hitting the shelves today. Included in that is the 1966 Batmobile, the Looney Tunes CMFs, some new Minions products. Included in that is Brickheads. Also, the Darth Vader helmet, Scout Trooper helmet, Batman cowl, and much more. So I'm really excited to go to the Lego store today, see what's happening, pick up some free Lego, and just sort of check it out because why wouldn't we? There's a lot of amazing stuff coming out and I'm pretty stoked on that. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. Also, May 1st is coming up too and there's like this new R2-D2 coming out, but. I guess that's for another shopping trip, right? So yeah, I'm really excited to roll on out and do some free Lego shopping. Woohoo! So we're here well before the store opens as always. And of course, Classic Brixie's got his Tim Hortons coffee here with a half a sugar and one milk. I'm just peering down into the store from up top here. And I see some new exciting stuff, including a nice backdrop, like a mosaic backdrop behind the Space Shuttle Discovery there. And also, a sign right here that shows all of the May the 4th promotions and can't wait to get in there and check it out. So because the store doesn't open up for a while and there's not really a lineup over there, decided to do some nice walking around West Edmonton Mall here. Just checking out the Santa Maria pirate ship and the indoor lake and all that stuff there. It's actually pretty cool. You can throw a loony or something into here and then you can drive these little boats around and hit all the different targets and different things move. It's a little game. You see all the stuff underneath the water there? Pretty neat. There used to be actually submarines in here. You'd board the submarines way down there on the other side of the lake and they would go around the exterior, underwater of course. And what would happen is there's there's uh, aquariums underneath so there'd be glass all along here along, along the wall, the seawall I guess underneath and then you'd look into the aquariums and you'd see penguins and fish and all sorts of cool stuff. And then up through here, there's like all this plant life up here. And there's a little vantage point. And right here, they used to have dolphins, but now it's actually uh, sea lions. So right here, you can watch a sea lion show. You can come over here and get a better view. And you'll see that line right down there. See that line? That's actually what used to guide the submarines around. And you can stand up top there and you can bomb pennies or nickels or whatever and try and get them into the boat. It's a lot of fun when you're a kid, right? It's pretty magical. I mean, it's pretty normal to me, but pretty cool. The ship there and then the Lego stores way over there. And right here is what they call sea life caverns. So you can go in the mouth of the fish here and there's a bunch of different marine life programs and whatnot. A bunch of different marine life under there and it's sort of just like an aquarium. So then there's this large bridge right here that you can use to cross the lake. And over here, it's closed right now, but this is the World Water Park. And this place is pretty cool. All sorts of water slides, a huge indoor wave pool, it's an open glass roof, and it's really nice. You can definitely get a better view of it up here. This wave pool is really fun. You can rent tubes and stuff. It's a lot of fun. And then you got your giant bank of water slides over here. There's also a huge amusement park with a triple loop roller coaster in West Edmonton Mall as well. That's on the other side of the mall. I don't think I'll go over there. So there we go. We just did the full tour of the world's largest indoor lake. At least I think it's the world's largest indoor lake. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on anything. <laughs> so now we're back at the Lego store. And if we go this way here, there's something really neat. This is called Europa Boulevard right here. And the shopping here is essentially all fancy clothing stores. Although it's sort of spread throughout the mall now of the fancy clothing stores that is. You see they've got like street lights here. And what's actually up top here, those are all the mall offices, administration offices up top there. You can take a glass elevator up top there. And then check this out. Down here, there's a huge mini golf course. So yeah, there's lots of different attractions here. And 
I think the coolest one, honestly, is the one we're not looking at, which is the indoor amusement park with the triple loop roller coaster. It's pretty neat. But yeah, there's definitely lots that you can do here in Westminster Mall. It's actually birds flying around in here too. But uh, you can come here and sort of spend a weekend, you know, do uh, one day at the water park, one day at Galaxy Land, one day at the mini golf and sort of shopping around. Of course, a few days at the Lego store, right? Yeah, there's my little tour of uh, Westminster Mall. I love how the light can come through the glass roof though. It's pretty cool, that concept is sort of everywhere throughout uh, the mall. There's also a skating rink, all sorts of cool stuff. So it's, it's a nice little tourist attraction, right? Uh-oh, my little tour across uh, West Summit Mall here has left me in like 10th spot in line. So hopefully that doesn't turn around and bite me, eh? No, we'll be fine. They got lots of stock in there, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, some new stuff coming out today. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm stoked on that 66 Batmobile, Minions, Brickheads, you know, all sorts of helmets and whatnot. It's gonna be awesome. First department we're gonna check out today is the Star Wars department. We got some new stuff. It looks like Vader's already gone, but we got some more Vader's coming in stock right now. There we go. Keeping it nice and stock. We're gonna grab a Scout Trooper today, of course. That's the Scout Trooper helmet and also the probe droid. And I'll get out of the way for other folks. Here in the Star Wars department, we got some other stuff on display, such as the Moss Eisley Cantina. Infamous, isn't it? Pretty neat. Don't see any uh, UCS Money Falcons, however, last time I was here, I did see them. Hi, Brixie. Thanks for letting us be in your video. No worries. <laughs> Big shout out for you. You're getting the uh, 66 Batmobile, are you? Yeah. Pretty cool. Have fun. <laughs> you too. All right, we're here in the DC section. And check it out. We got the new Batman cowl here as well. Retails for $79.99. Woo, that thing looks pretty sweet. And you know what? I think it's going to look even awesomer. Or even better. I don't know if awesomer is a word. But even better when it's, uh, when it's built. You know, I just don't think the box art is going to do this one justice, and I'm really excited to see it. It looks fantastic. Also here, they have the 66 Batmobile for $34.99, and actually I already have that in my stack over here. So right here, we have the 66 Batmobile, 345 pieces. This thing looks very similar to the uh, 66 Batmobile that is in the Batcave set that came out uh, a number of years ago. Also right here, look at this little pod. It's uh, showcasing the pre-orders for the uh, Harry Potter sets, including the large minifigures, also the chess set back there, and also Fox the Phoenix there as well. So we're doing pretty good here. We've got uh, a few different sets now, that's four. We're going to continue to have a browse around, and like I said, it's on the house today. All of these sets are free. And how am I doing that? I'm actually redeeming all of the VIP points that I've accumulated over the past few months, so it's pretty exciting. Also, as you just saw behind me there, we've got the new Venom and Carnage heads, I guess, or bus. Can't really call him a mask. I guess maybe. And that's beside the Iron Man helmet. Right over here, we got some new minion stuff in stock as well. This is Minion Pilot in Training, Minions Kung Fu Battle, also Minions in Gru's Lab. Then we have the new Brickhead. So you get uh, Stuart, Gru, and Otto. And this one here, you get uh, uh, Bell, Bell Bottom, Bob, and Kevin. So those are pretty cool little brick heads there. I'll probably have to get those two. And then down here, we've got some other uh, minion stuff as well. The unstoppable bike chase, and then the minions uh, brick built lair, and it was here recently built. And you can see them on display right here, the brick heads. I think I'm gonna pick up those two as well. It was pretty busy over there, so we didn't get a chance to have a look at these two sets that we grabbed. This is the new LEGO Star Wars Imperial probe droid. 75306 is the set number 683 pieces it looks amazing i like how they put the snow on the plaque and i like how it comes with that uh, specifications plaque it's going to pair up beautifully with bb8 the porg yoda r2d2 in particular the new r2d2 that's coming out here right away as well it looks great and also we got the scout trooper helmet which is right here 471 pieces 18 plus of course 75305 is the set number I think I really like this one here. It's probably gonna outdo a lot of the other uh, LEGO Star Wars helmets. So this is our stack so far, and behind the counter here is where they have the Looney Tunes minifigures. I don't think we can come here and not check out this department, right? I still don't see bonsai trees, but we definitely do have the flower bouquet here. I also see the assembly square, but I do not see the corner garage. Apparently corner garage is leaving us right away. Another one that's leaving us right away is not the Elf Clubhouse, but the one that came out prior to that which is the gingerbread house. That'll be leaving us this year as well, apparently. Same with the Saturn V, maybe, and possibly the roller coaster. 
some good stuff here in the Lego Creator Expert slash 18 plus, I guess, adults welcome, we'll call it. When we were up top on the mezzanine looking down, this is what I was mentioning here. We've got this awesome NASA Space Shuttle Discovery display. And check out the like 3D mosaic in which they built behind it. Isn't that incredible? That looks amazing. It just shows you that you can take art to a whole new level. You don't have to just use the studs. You can really use all sorts of arches and slopes and make it 3D and pop right off the canvas. Woof, looks amazing. Might have to do something like that relatively soon. You can see it's just like standard art, essentially. I guess there's a lot more plate work there, but if you could just do it just like standard art, it would uh, definitely work. And then right over here, we've got this little stand that's showing us the May the 4th promos. Coming, Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you, May 1st through 5th. Uh, new collectibles for Star Wars, so we've got the new R2-D2, available on May 5th. And then we've got the helmets, in which we saw today, along with the probe droid. The free gift, the collectible Tatooine homestead, micro build. Looks like you get that for free when you spend $110 here in Canada. Looks decent, I like the sand crawler, it's pretty neat, it's probably the best part about it. Then you get double points on all LEGO Star Wars purchases. And then you also get a free in-store promo as well when you spend over $55, which is the Imperial Shuttle Poly Bag. So you get two promos and double points when you spend over 110 bucks. That's on any LEGO Star Wars purchases. So that's a pretty sweet promo for the month of May here in 2021. The wife and I have been furiously working on detailing the LEGO City, and she told me to keep an eye out on the pick brick wall for flower and plant life elements. So We've got these flowers here. She said she loves them. They're way better than the pre-existing flowers because they're actually like a solid material, which is really cool. And she really likes using those. Also, we got these. I've got a bunch of them already. That's where they built my little spruce trees out of. And on the far side over there, there's actually some of the one by one stud flowers as well. And we have some carrot elements. I'll have to discuss it with her and see if she wants any of these uh, when we continue adding detail to the uh, Lego City. And this would actually be good to use these cheese wedges here to add detail to your water in your ocean or lakes or rivers. These are always good to have too. I'm a huge fan of dark blush gray for some reason. And so are these uh, to create some sort of uh, slopey, rocky hill maybe in your deep sea area or something like that. And these are the other flowers that I was referring to, but I think I'll leave the brick brick wall alone today. And look at this, we got Humphrey. He's going around the store here. And it's one of the Mindstorm sets. Oh, don't run into that. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Is it autonomous or are you steering it? Uh, he's going on his own right now. He's going on his own. So he's got sensors, he won't run into walls? He won't run into walls and he won't go on the gray. He won't go on the gray. All right. Oh, that is super neat. Oh, oh, he's gonna get cornered here. Oh, no, he's not. Smart little bugger, eh? Wow, that's crazy. I've never tried any mine storms. Looks like they got some pamphlets here as well, advertising their May the 4th sales. So that's pretty sweet. Showing off some of the new dealios coming out here in the first week of May. And this is our stack right here. And we also get what, a free Friends, or so, Dots uh, picture frame, a little mini poly bag. However, I have enough VIP points to cover all of this. So do I still get this if I redeem VIP points? Are you ringing them first? It's one of those classic moments. Uh, how do you want to pay for that? Do you guys accept VIP? Oh yeah. All right, everybody. So we got our free LEGO haul today by redeeming our VIP points here at the LEGO store. And we got the free Dots mini frame. Even though we redeem points, you still get the free uh, gift with purchase, which is pretty awesome. We got the Scout Trooper helmet, the probe droid, the Batman cowl, and the Minions brickheads. Did I forget anything? Oh yeah, the 66 Batmobile as well. So it was a pretty good haul, and I can't wait to come back here on May 1st to capitalize on all the different uh, sales and deals and promos that are going to be affiliated with uh, the May the 4th sale and also get that new R2-D2, which looks simply incredible. You guys remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here in the near future. And thanks for stopping by. Have a great one.